What? There's fucking There's more. The the the, the this is me dying inside. <laughs> oh my god. I want I want my fucking money back. Can I have my money back? What's going on everybody? It's your boy Shogi from Shook Earth Media and today we are finally reviewing Life is Strange Remastered and uh I just finished it. This review does not apply to Before the Storm. I'm going to do a separate video about that one. Need some more time to finish that. I just wanted to get this out. And uh, just TLDR, this game, this remaster is completely unnecessary. It barely changes anything. There are some slight improvements, but most of the changes in the game are worse. And I don't recommend that anybody buy this, unfortunately. If you haven't played the original Life is Strange, please, please do play the original. I highly recommend it. I'm not going to review anything as regards to the original game. Uh, that's a separate discussion. I, I'd be open to that if you guys want to see me review the story. And, you know, it's one of my favorite games ever. I love it. Uh, but, of course, you know, I'm a, I'm a critic, so <laughs> there are things I can nitpick and talk about. So we could do that as a separate video if you guys want to. That could be fun. But uh, this review is only going to apply to Life is Strange Remastered. And uh, yeah, just TLDR, don't buy this. <laughs> do not buy this. It's not worth it. And uh, you know, I it started out small for me. And my main criticisms had to do with the color effects. I've addressed this on the channel before. But they essentially threw an Instagram filter on this game. So every scene in the game has different lighting and coloring effects. And to me, it's not a matter of preference. It's just worse in every way. Whereas the original game had a natural tone to it, and it has an artistic art style, uh, this game, every scene has a filter thrown over it. So they blast up the contrast. So dark scenes and shadows are way too dark, and light scenes are way too light. I've said it before, this is a game about a photographer. If Max was playing this game, she would be criticizing that certain parts are underexposed, certain parts are overexposed. So they threw up the contrast, completely destroying the image quality. So a lot of the supposed upgrades and texture improvements are hard to see. So even if, the, even if you say that some things are better about it, it's hard to see them sometimes. <laughs> Characters are improperly exposed. They have what's called a vignette iris effect on the camera. So essentially what that is is there's a focal point usually in the middle, but sometimes the center is placed elsewhere where it's extra bright in the middle and it looks washed out. It looks like a, a filter thrown over it. And then the edges of the, that center point are shadowy. So the, every scene in the game, practically every shot in the game has this. I've since looked at footage of the original game and they did use this effect sometimes. Not as often, but the contrast was not as high. So it was less noticeable and it, I, I'm not a fan of the effect in general, but in the original game it really isn't an issue. Not even something I noticed on prior playthroughs at all so it, it it there's this alone is enough for me to say i don't like this but it might not be for some people i'm just gonna say we're just gonna throw in what this game does better basically uh, they improved the texture on the skin of characters 
So there's more like moles, more imperfections in the skin. You can see pores. They uh, added some more detail to the clothes. And they did change some subtle things to the clothes. I'm not really into most of the changes. But they they did add some... You can see more lines in, this, in the thing. And it's, it's mostly subtle stuff. The hair in the game is improved, right? And it has more detail in it. And it looks shinier. That's the main thing about it is it looks shinier and the light plays off it. But the fact that the light plays off the hair but doesn't play off anything else, it creates this kind of clash. And it continues that clash between the realism and the artistic expressionistic uh, it, it style of the game. And it, 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 it feeds into that clash. So I don't think of it as really entirely better. And there's points where Kate's hair, for example, at the back of her neck is constantly clipping through her skin. So when she looks up at something, if there's a shot where the camera's behind her, it's constantly clipping through her neck. So the hair, it really, it, it looks better in isolation, but in the final product, it really, it, it clashes. So that's an issue with the hair. So those are the main differences. Now they do, they did add new facial animations. Some of them are better. Most of them, you're not going to even notice a difference. And there's a lot of points in this game. We're going to be cutting in review it, it, footage from my playthrough. There's so many points in this game where I was like, wow, this would be a great point for them to add more facial animation. And they just either didn't do it or the difference is so slight, I, it's like is it as if they didn't do it. There are points where, like, Joyce, you know, is looking at the camera. They're talking about William died. And there's no emotion on her face. There's plenty of points, like in episode 5, when Max is telling Chloe about how she went to the other reality. Uh, there's going to be spoilers in this, by the way. <laughs> where Max tells Chloe about how she went to the other reality, where there should be emotion on Chloe's face, and there isn't. And now these are things I would criticize the original game for. Uh, the, uh, the facial animations were definitely not fully there. In the original game but I I'm willing to excuse a bit of it because it was a low-budget game and they simply didn't have the resources to do that and in the time it came out it was less common for that level of detail and animations to be there so I'm willing to forgive it I'm, I, I would it's something I would mention in a review for reviewing it that the facial animations were not fully on point in the original game and that's one of the biggest things that could be improved and that's why this is such a missed opportunity here that there's barely any difference at all that's noticeable. Some scenes, there's subtle things that are really good. You'll notice that uh, they, they basically made everybody's eyes bigger, glossier, and they move around more. <laughs> now, it does feel like they did these facial capture animation things, and in the behind-the-scenes footage, we saw that they mentioned that they just kind of Autom it automatically did it. So let's say if Chloe is doing something in the junkyard, it will only record um, when she's on screen and VoiceOver does that for us automatically. And in some cases, the eyes will abruptly move from up, looking up, to looking down, to looking up again. And they're looking up at what looks like nothing. So that's a big problem. Uh, so it, it's really not, you know, <laughs> to me, it's not acceptable the state in which this game is. Uh, so that that's the biggest thing the, the the biggest improvement that could have been is the facial animations But it turns out it's just the the skin textures But going back to the color effects they essentially desaturated the majority of this game So much of it is desaturated. They really took out a lot of the color and They played with the color temperature mostly made it warmer. So it's a lot more orangey more reddish and it doesn't really do it any favors. Add that to the contrast issues and the desaturation, and it, this game looks worse to me. I, I found a point in the game, you'll see it in my footage here, I'll put it up on the screen, where there's a point where the, the filter dropped in the, in the middle of the animation, and you could see the way it was before, and I think it looked better before. It looked more natural before. And there's scenes in the game, like when you're in Dana's room in episode one, 
where the contrast is blasted up so high, Max looks like a ghost. She's just pure white. I mean, it's one of the things with this contrast thing and the desaturation is so many characters look pale. Uh, Frank, in so many scenes, looks incredibly pale. Uh, they added detail to people's teeth, but it just looks weird and unnatural. It has this uncanny valley thing going on, especially because they look perfectly straight and like it, it just doesn't look right. Mr. Jefferson looks pale in many scenes. Um, you know, who, who cares about him, right? He's a bloodless vampire, so who gives a fuck? So. <laughs> but you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, there's so many points in this game where, like, there's a camera shot of Lisa, the plant, the potted plant, and you press the look button, and it gives you this, or one of the buttons, it doesn't matter. You, the camera's panning across it, but it's the contrast is so high that... It's so dark you can't even see anything, okay? So there's that issue. There's plenty of scenes where it's so dark you just can't see anything. And it's not simple enough that you can just play with the gamma, turn the gamma up. That doesn't fix it because of all these scenes that are so bright. So there's so many scenes where their skin looks wrong. Chloe in many scenes looks incredibly pale, especially the first scene where she's introduced in the bathroom. She looks pale. The bathroom just looks worse. <laughs> the light is not more natural. There's no ray tracing. There's no upscaling. There's so many things in the background that could have been improved. But there's just pixelated textures all over the place. And again, with the timing that this game came out in the, th in the Xbox One and the PS4 era, it's perfectly acceptable to have textures like that. If you're going to go through the... the all the effort to remaster this game, why not up res some of those textures? Why are they still so pixelated? It makes no sense at all. You can really tell that the filter, the color filter, it's, it's definitely a filter. It's not any changes to anything in the environment. And you can really tell that when you enter and exit certain rooms, there are filter changes, sometimes in the middle of cutscenes, where the you're walking into a room and then it, the color abruptly changes. There's no transition. It doesn't fade from one filter to the other. There is no transition. It just snaps its fingers and there it is. And sometimes this will happen during dialogue scenes. An example I can think of is when you're talking to people outside of the diner, Two Wells Diner, there are camera shots that are from inside the diner. And the, the color filter is different inside the diner. So there's a camera angle when you're talking to either the trucker or the fisherman or somebody where you're in the camera is inside the diner and the filter is different than outside so you see the filter change once the camera's inside the camera changes the camera angle changes and then a second or so later the filter snaps on so you can see it and that it's plain as day and you can't it's undeniable it's just a camera effect, and it's very lazily done, in my opinion. And these are professionals. These are people that, you know, should know better. These are people that have a, enough reverence for the source material that they created before the storm, which is an incredible love letter to the original game. And they created True Colors, which is a worthy follow-up, even though I have my criticisms of it. I give it, like, a 3 out of 5. It is a good game still, and you can see my review. Um... It's good enough <laughs> that it's worthy of the name, but you can, I, I, I'm, no, I'm just so perplexed as to how this game came out this way. So we have textures pixelated. We have uh, background things pixelated, and there's this weird clashing between realism and the artsy style that the game had before, where there's a lot more impressionistic, expressionist type of uh, background stuff and they mix that with trying to add more realism into the game so one thing i can say that it does improve is the grass looks way better there's a lot more detail in the grass but i don't think that's really a good enough trade-off with all the lighting issues uh there there are textures in the game that are misaligned there's i remember a tree where the the tree texture is fine and then there's a cutoff point and the 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 lines in the tree, I don't know what you call it, the divots in the tree don't line up. The textures are misplaced so that they don't line up. 
and there's a lot of places with this issue. One of the things that they tried to add texture to was a lot of walls, and they added uh, like paint textures, but the paint textures, it, it's supposed to add detail to the environment, but what it really does is it makes all the contractors in the Life is Strange universe look completely unskilled. There's no uniformity to the way that these walls are painted, and it's like every wall in this game, lots of doors in this game, have a uh, paint that is not at all uh, how it's, how paint is supposed to be. Paint is supposed to look flat, and it has all it's very blotchy and patchy, and it just looks like everybody who owns a paintbrush does does a terrible job in this universe. So uh, that. Adding that did not, it took away, like, at, at first when I noticed it, I was like, oh, that's cool. But then I noticed they did it absolutely everywhere, and I'm like, wow, this is terrible. So there's that issue. There's, the, you saw in the intro, I'm going to edit together an intro with a bunch of glitches. You saw the T-posing. The party scene, which is a crucial scene leading up to the climax, six characters were T-posing for me. And uh, there are lots of glitches like that, lots of T-posing going on, and... I don't recall this being in the original game. I don't recall seeing videos of glitches like this. Of course, every game is going to have glitches in it, but the state of this current game, unacceptable. I had one crash on me during a cutscene. I never had a crash in this game, in the original one. So, it, it really does feel like it's in a completely glitched out state. I was having issues with the subtitles where... It wasn't showing up the subtitles, it was just showing a line of code referencing what subtitles should be there. And uh, you go, you'll see footage of it here. There is a patch, and ever since the patch, I haven't had that issue anymore, so I'm assuming that that's now fixed, but I wouldn't guarantee it because of how the rest of the game is so buggy right now. There's so much texture pop-in in this game. Every camera shot, when you switch angles, the textures are loading in, after the camera angle changes i would almost rather a stutter before the camera change because it's so distracting like there's one shot where you're driving in chloe's truck right and you cut to it's supposed to be the one or not one imposter the missing poster of rachel on the road and they drive past it and it flies away there are several seconds looking at this road where there was no poster there and then it just appears out of nowhere and then they drive over it so that's like every shot in this game. I don't know if it's because I had it installed on a hard drive instead of a solid state drive, but again, this texture pop in it was not an issue in the original game. So really, what are you getting with this upgrade? You're getting a glitchier game. You're getting color grades that look awful and the photographer in the game would criticize it for how it looks. You, you're, getting, uh, you're getting bugs, you're getting crashes, you're getting T-posing, you're getting... Uh, slightly improved facial animations in some parts, but some parts where the facial animations either look like they were not touched at all or they were made worse. There's parts where Max is all of a sudden looking up at the, at the ceiling for no good reason. There's parts where, you know, there, it doesn't look like it was touched and it really needed to be. So what is the purpose of this remaster? It's clearly only for a cash grab. There is no reason that this game needed to be remastered. I was not opposed to the idea of doing a remaster. I'm not opposed to that in general. I actually like the idea because there are times when the remaster ends up being the ultimate version of the game. I'm a huge fan of Resident Evil 1 Remake Remastered. That is the ultimate version of Resident Evil 1 in my opinion. It is absolutely better in every way. It looks great. It plays great no issues, you know, I, I don't, I've, I haven't seen any real criticism of that, maybe there is, but it's, it, that's one of my favorite games, there are plenty of remasters where it's like, this is the ultimate version, and they had the opportunity to do that here, and they did not achieve it, in my opinion, all that you got is you got more freckles on people, you got moles, oh great, yeah, that's awesome, I mean, I paid $40 for that, it's really not worth it, with all of the downsides of this version, it being a buggier version, the color looking terrible, the shadows making things hard to see, some scenes being way too bright, skin tones looking completely off, all of these things added together, it is not worth the price of admission when I could just boot up the old one. 
And honestly, the slightly improved facial animations, not really that great anyways. Uh, so really, there's not much to redeem this other than the fact it's an incredible game. And when it works, it's it, the story is just great. So, I mean, it's it's just hard to recommend it. For returning fans, it's not worth the money. You're, you have a better version installed on your computer already if you have it downloaded. Or your console or whatever. For consoles, I'm hearing reports from people that this version crashes, the audio is not working. I'm hearing all types of things on the PlayStation version specifically. These are people in my comment section talking about this, and I, I take them at their word for it. So uh, I, I'm reviewing this on Steam. Um, but I'm, I must say that they're, they're, for returning fans, it's not worth the price. And it, there are more downsides than upsides, in my opinion. And for people that have never played it before, you should really play the, other, the original one because it's just a better, more stable version. And uh, it's just better in every way. So I have no real reason to recommend this to anybody. So hopefully that answers your questions about my opinion. Uh, you, you guys will see I'll release my, my edited down versions of my playthroughs. I got really angry at a certain point where I was just like, wow, everything's worse. Oh, that reminds me. The beginning of episode five, uh, when you're in the dark room, the camera was shaking for me. That's another bug. So there's the texture pop in. There's extra frames after every cutscene. There's a frame of Max standing wherever she was. There's extra frames, there's wonkiness where characters in between camera angles are moving in weird places. There's all of these weird bugs and it completely killed my vibe. The vignette effects, absolutely awful. The contrast filter, obviously completely unacceptable. So uh, yeah, I got upset with this and uh, as amazing as and incredible as the story is, uh, I'm I, I'm astounded that it launched in this state. It's completely unacceptable. We have to stop accepting things like this as gamers because they're just launching projects that are clearly not ready. This was not ready for the big time, and even if they patch out all of the glitches, the substance of the thing is very is subpar. It's worse in, in pretty much every way except for some slight facial animations that are better. So that's my review of Life is Strange Remastered, guys. Do not buy it. Avoid it with a 10-foot pole. And I wish I could get my money back. That's my honest opinion. But I bought it for you guys. I wouldn't have purchased it if it wasn't for the channel and the fact that a few of my rea trailer reactions did really big views. So hopefully I can save you guys some money. That's really my goal with this is to say, please do not buy this. Do not waste your money. If you want to play it again, please just play the old one. It is so much better. So that's my opinion. I will be playing Before the Storm because I already paid $40 for this. So we're going to we're gonna sit through it. Or it was like $30 for me because I, I had to upgrade to the deluxe version of True Colors. Uh, but I said at one point in my playthrough, I was like, Man, I want to retroactively give True Colors a worse review because of how badly this turned out. So this is a cash grab. Completely shameful. Shame on Deck Nine for putting this out in this state. Shame on Square Enix for allowing this to happen to a game that there's so much reverence for. And rightfully so. I mean, this is one of their great franchises at this point. And it's unacceptable that they let it launch in this state. So that's my opinion on Life is Strange Remastered. Very negative. Only a couple positive. The grass looks better, and you see more moles on people's faces. Wow, amazing. Worth $40 totally. <laughs> I'm getting a little salty, but you guys know my feeling on it now. And that's just my opinion on it. And my voice is getting raw, so I'm going to sign off. But hope to hopefully I can save you guys some money. And if you like this video, please hit that sub button and hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you have any glitches or issues with the game, or if you like it and you think I'm a, I'm just being a Karen. Somebody call me a Karen, dude. I feel so validated for my react, my skepticism early on. People are like, dude, it's a huge improvement. No, it's fucking not. Okay, you're lying to yourself at this point. I'm trying to save you money, so keep it locked on Shook Media if you want to see more Life is Strange content, and. 
I hope to see you guys in the next video. We're going to be back with uh, more videos ASAP. So hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.